Let's return now to Borno State, where troops of Operation Hardin K have rescued two more Chibok schoolgirls alongside their babies. I'm joined by journalist Isaac Abrak, who's been covering Boko Haram insurgency in northeast Nigeria for the past 13 years. Uh, Isaac, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. It would seem that the news of the uh, release or rescue of the Chibo girls seem to have lost its steam nine years after the incident happened. How symbolic is the release of these girls? And what would you say have happened to this story over the years? It is quite interesting, you know, and a very joyful news to us, you know, that uh, these girls, uh, some two girls have also been released. You know, for some of us that have been following these stories, the parents have never given hope. Some Nigerians, some people around the world could have forgotten or would have think would have been thinking that ah, it's a lost story. Uh, I mean, anytime the story comes around, people would think it's old. But to the parents, anytime such rescues, these girls come out, it's such a very joyful thing to them. And for me personally, who have covered this story and have been uh, in close contact with some of these parents over these years, I like to commend the troops you know, for, job, for doing such a, a beautiful job. And it is coming at a time when we are transiting, you know, from the government of uh, our, our president, Mahmoudou Buhari, to a new government, uh, which is going to be uh, headed by the, our president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And as such, we call on Bola Ahmed Tinubu to ensure that the remaining girls are rescued and brought back to us. Home. And interestingly, if you look at Bola Ahmed Tinubu's manifesto, you would see that he has identified some of the key issues that appeal to some of us who have been following the issues around this insurgency. And he has identified employment, mass youth employment, you know, as some of the non kinetic instruments of tackling insecurity in northern Nigeria. He has also uh, identified uh, the forest rangers. And so I like I, I like to bring this this issue to the very fore here to say that if the forest rangers, which are the forest guards, are created, is established, whereby we have some of our youths, youths in the villages, youths who live around some of these forests, being recruited and now used as guards of this forest, some of these uh, bandits, some of these terrorists who hide who have hijacked our forest and sneak to attack our schools and carry our students will no longer have a hiding place. So we are calling on Bola Ahmed Tinibu, deploy, keep your promises, which you, have, which you have embellished in your manifesto. Please keep your promises. And if you deploy these tools, they will be able to stabilize and secure. Uh, Absolutely, uh, Isaac. I believe that Nigerians are counting on the incoming uh, president to match words with action. Let's talk about the rehabilitation of these victims. If you have noticed, many of them are returning with babies and some of them pregnant. As a matter of fact, one of them, while speaking with journalists, did say, we love our children, but we hate their fathers. Uh, how, how much rehabilitation work would you say is ongoing to ensure that uh, these victims can, you know, adequately reconnect um, with, the, with the society that they left? Well, it's an unfortunate situation. Is it like a quagmire where these, uh, these young girls have found themselves? Uh, but of course, uh, for uh, our troops, our government to, uh, to have rehabilitate these girls is a good thing. And no matter the degree of rehabilitation that these girls get, is a step towards the right direction of getting them integrated back into the societies. They might not like their, they might not like the, the, the fathers of the sons of these children whom they have given birth to. But if these children are given an opportunity to grow up in the society and understand that the ways to which they came to, uh, they were given birth to, it's not so convenient with the world. They can grow up to make better the society and even prevent situations, the situation who gave birth to them. So I'm saying here that kudos. To the Nigerian government. I am aware, aware that some of the rehabilitation exercises that have been going on within the military have produced positive results. You can see that we have been able to contain the situation 
in the northeast. This is solely because some of the people who were who were who who were recruited either by either forcefully or voluntarily and have surrendered to the military or the military have rescued them have have, have now been uh, rehabilitated and are collaborating. This collaboration is the reason why we have had successes over the insurgents. And as such, I would commend it and, and just to say that, please, the military should do more. And also to call on the society, please, let's not stigmatize these children. Let's not stigmatize our daughters. You know, they were captured, they were forced and into this Let us accept these children uh, to be with us. They are members of the society and they can grow up to be wonderful citizens of our country. Isaac Abrak is a hostile environment media expert with years of experience covering uh, the Boko Haram insurgency in northeast Nigeria. Thank you so much for talking to us on the news tonight.